Both are new. A detailed comparison between the Advanced Fighter Aircraft Con and KF-21. The KF-21 Borome and the TFX Con are two prominent contenders in the realm of advanced fighter aircraft development. Both are designed to play significant roles in their respective nation's air forces, boasting cutting-edge capabilities and technologies tailored for modern combat environments. In this article, we'll delve into a detailed comparison of two cutting-edge fighter aircraft, showcasing their formidable presence in the skies and their roles as key players in the evolving landscape of global military aviation. The KF-21 Borome is a fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft. Developed by the Korea Aerospace Industries KI. In April 2021, the inaugural prototype of the KF-21 Borome was successfully finalized and revealed to the public. Subsequently, on the 19th of July, 2022, the aircraft underwent its maiden test flight, marking a crucial milestone in its development. The commencement of manufacturing is slated for the year 2026. The TI-CON, also known as the TFX, is a stealthy, twin-engine, all-weather air superiority fighter being developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries. After successful taxi and ground tests on March 16, 2023, the prototype was unveiled two days later. The inaugural flight of the CON took place on February 21, 2024. TAI released a video showing a CON fighter jet taking off and then landing back at the Murdered Airfield Command in northern Ankara. The KF-21 Borome and the TAI-TFX CON, both fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft, demonstrate remarkable advancements in aerospace technology. Let's compare these two formidable fighters. Starting with their dimensions, the KF-21 measures 16.9 meters in length, while the CAN is slightly larger at 21 meters. The KF-21 features a wingspan of 11.2 meters and a height of 4.7 meters. In contrast, the CAN has a slightly larger wingspan of 14 meters and stands at a height of 6 meters. In terms of payload and operational flexibility, the KF-21 has a maximum takeoff weight of 25,600 kilograms, 56,400 pounds. In contrast, the CON boasts a slightly higher maximum takeoff weight of 27,215 kilograms, 60,000 pounds, potentially allowing for increased armament and fuel capacity. This could lead to extended mission durations or enhanced combat capabilities, depending on operational requirements. The KF-21 boasts a pair of General Electric F-414 GE 400K turbofans, delivering 57.8 knots of thrust. Meanwhile, the CON employs two General Electric F-110 GE 129 turbofans, generating 76.31 knots of thrust, offering the possibility of slightly superior performance capabilities. Regarding performance, both aircraft exhibit remarkable capabilities. The KF-21 reaches a maximum speed of Mach 1.81, while the CON closely matches this with a maximum speed of Mach 1.8. The KF-21 flaunts a remarkable service ceiling of 64,961 feet, 19,800 meters, exceeding the con service ceiling of 55,000 feet, 17,000 meters. This elevates the KF-21's capability to operate at higher altitudes, potentially providing advantages across a range of mission scenarios. The KF-21 is outfitted with cutting-edge features, 
including an AESA radar, advanced avionics, and precision weaponry. With 10 hard points for weapons deployment, exceptional maneuverability, improved survivability, and a configuration featuring single tandem aircraft seats, the KF-21 guarantees high operational efficiency across various mission scenarios. Expected to incorporate state-of-the-art advancements, like a next-generation active electronically scanned array, ASA radar system, advanced communication systems, and top-tier electronic warfare capabilities, the Khan marks a groundbreaking chapter in Turkish military aviation. Its advanced stealth attributes, such as radar-absorbing materials and cutting-edge coatings, result in a diminished radar cross-section, bolstering its survivability in challenging operational environments. According to the report, the UAE's Economic Council sent the letter to South Korea's Office of National Security expressing Abu Dhabi's interest in direct collaboration on the KF-21 development. Surprisingly, the letter purportedly suggested Abu Dhabi's willingness to replace Indonesia's investment in the program. TI, the primary contractor for the Khan 5th generation fighter jet development program, aims to deliver 20 Khan Block 10 fighter jets to the Turkish Air Force by 2028, following the completion of taxi trials in March. Looking ahead, the second prototype, P-1, designed to encompass the full flight envelope and closely resemble the intended production aircraft, is scheduled for takeoff in 2025. Anticipated milestones include the third aircraft's flight in 2026 and the delivery of subsequent blocks by 2034.